Hello, Noble Knitter, it's Nancy Queen, and today I wanna to talk about your knitting project. Not too long ago, I requested you send me a picture of your favorite project you knitted over the past year. Well, I received hundreds and hundreds of emails from you showing me what you've made over the past year. There were so many that I decided I wanna be able to include everything, but it would be way too long of a video. So I categorized everything by project and I'm showing you what you've made over the past year by category. So today we're gonna to talk about home decorating and home accent projects. The most recent one I did was on shawls and you can check that one out right here. So let's dive in. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified every time I post. Okay, the first project in this collection is a wow project. It's actually a wall art project and it was submitted by Carol Urban. She says this is the entryway to her condo. It's a 15 foot long wall. Actually a little, she said it's a 15 foot foot plus long wall. And she didn't want lots of art up there. So her designer suggested she knit and felt these rectangles. She used Knit Picks Wool of the Andes, which is a really great yarn for this project. And she said from ordering the yarn to hanging up the wall art took her about three months to get it all done. That's incredible. She said it was a really great pandemic project and she needed 55 blocks for the wall, but she ended up making 63 blocks. And wow, this is truly incredible, Carol. And thank you so much for sharing it. This next project is from Frances Best and she made these inner woven pillows and they are absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm not sure if these are strips that are knitted and then woven together or if it's an entrelock knitting pattern but the result is beautiful. You did a great job and I love the neutral colors you chose. Frances says she hasn't used an interwoven pattern before and it took a couple of attempts to understand the pattern and get it right but it turned out to be easier than it looks once she got into it. She's a longtime knitter, she's 75, and she likes to try different things. She was taught to knit by her mother and made her first cardigan when she was 14. Well, I'm so glad you're still trying new things. Look at what you've created and it's absolutely gorgeous. Next up, we have a project from Shirley B. This is called AJ's Pillow. And she made this pillow for her great granddaughter who doesn't have one favorite color she likes them all. I really like the buttons you added and it looks like it was a nice easy project done in garter stitch. So thank you so much for sharing that lovely project for your granddaughter. Next up is one for one of our furry friends. This is a dog sweater created by Meg Tiller. She said she knitted a dog sweater just two weeks ago that was really fun. She had a video and a pattern to follow and she said that helped a lot. She said she was challenged because she had never had a project that had her bind off and then cast back on so that created an interesting challenge for her and she said it was a really cute project too and I have to agree with you I'd love to see a picture of the dog in the sweater so thanks for sharing that with us Meg. Next up we have all of these knitted washcloths from Bill Huey. These are the knitted dishcloths I've completed. I like to make them because they're small and usually quick to make with no real extended time commitment and they provide instant gratification. I love instant gratification projects as well, and they make such great gifts. Thank you so much, and I love all of the color choices you chose as well. Next up, we have this lovely cabled pillow and blanket from Kim Allard. She said it was done as a thank you gift for someone and it was really easy and a lot of fun to knit up. Well, you did a beautiful job. I love the neutral color palette you chose and your cable stitches look great. Thanks for sharing this. If you like mitered knitting, you're going to love this next project submitted by Berthy Hall. She said she used up leftover yarn and made her niece a beautiful present. And what I like is that the front and back are totally different on this project. Thank you so much for sharing it. It's really lovely. And here's another mitered square project. I'm really into mitered 
mitering projects. So I love seeing all of these. This one is from Susan Blair. She made a table runner and it's quite colorful. This was one of her favorite projects of the past year because it used up a lot of fingering weight scraps and it turned out wonderful. I have to agree with you. It brightens up my dining room table as a table runner. It really went quick and I couldn't wait to add another square. Yeah, and if you haven't knitted mitered squares before, there's no um, sewing them together. You pick up stitches and you just keep knitting. So it's a really a very fun, easy project and uh, it's very rhythmic because each square is the same. So once you know how to make one square and pick up stitches, you will be able to just keep going and going. So thank you for sharing your beautiful table runner with us. Meg wasn't the only one whose thoughts have gone to the dog. Our friend Susan Hunt also was thinking dogs when she created this paws washcloth. It's a face cloth for a young friend who loves purple and her dog. She said she had been working on a couple of really involving shawls and this was a really nice break to knit something simple and fast. She said she hadn't worked with cotton before. It was done in just a few evenings and the knitting was very gratifying. Well, the results are adorable and I'm sure that young girl loves this knitted washcloth. Now this submission came from Nancy Dean and she says it's a simple washcloth, but I gotta say, it's not simple. She's got some interesting stitch patterns in here. There's different yarns to create texture. I think you've done a lovely job and I would never have categorized this as a simple project. And you've got color changes going on. However, I wanna tell you what she has to say about this washcloth. She said it was a simple washcloth that means so much to her. She made it for her occupational therapist who got her through a very difficult time last year. She had a very bad fall she required hand and arm surgery. One of her goals was to hold the needles again and be able to knit. This was her first project after surgery and she gave this to her therapist when she graduated occupational therapy. She said she remembered having to limit herself to just one line a day due to the pain, but she made it for Caroline as a surprise. And wow, I hope you are on the mend and you're able to knit again and that your therapist got you through that. Thank you so much. And thank you for submitting the photo for us and sharing your story. Well, like I said, things have gone to the dogs, but wait, now they've moved to the birds. This next project was submitted by Michelle Salazar and it's a beautiful bird pillow. She said she enjoyed knitting this pillow. She actually made two. She usually makes sweaters, so this was something new and she learned how to do intarsia with more than two colors. I like selecting projects that teach me a new technique. Well, I absolutely love this pillow. The colors, the shapes, it's, it's really beautiful. And this next project was submitted by Carol Sargent. She created this beautiful tea cozy. Carol says this is a tea cozy she's knitted several times over the past 15 years. And so have her friends. She said it makes a great gift and it was designed by an employee at the Village Yarn and Tea Shop in Seattle, Washington. Whenever I can in these videos, I provide links to any of the projects that I can find or if you have additional information about the pattern you can let me know and I'll provide the links uh, but these are really great projects and like I said if you want to check out the shawls version you can check the link here or in the description below and I will see you in the next video